Hi folks, my name is Carol, my pronouns are she, her, and today we'll be discussing another method of source evaluation called SIFT. Some of you may already be familiar with other methods of source evaluation, which is great, so please keep those in mind um, as we move through the SIFT method. We'll be doing a short activity at the end of this brief lecture, so make sure you have some kind of means to write. Digital or paper and pen is perfectly fine. So during this portion, I'd like you all to keep in mind our research question, which is how have various stakeholders responded to Seattle's initiatives and approaches to creating and preserving green spaces as the city has grown in population? Take a minute to reflect on why source evaluation is important. Why do you think some kinds of sources are better suited for this question than others? Would you share a city report with your family? What about a PhD dissertation? We can think of research holistically. It's important to consider that different types of sources can complement each other well. So the method of source evaluation that we're looking at today is called SIFT, which stands for stop, investigate the source, find better coverage, and trace claims, quotes, and media to the original context. SIFT is also known as four moves and a habit. So the first and one of the most important steps in SIFT is to stop. It can be really easy to get overwhelmed and sometimes the simplest action of just stopping and reflecting on what you are looking at can help recenter your information search. Ask yourself whether you know and trust the source of the information. If not, use the other moves to get a sense of what you're looking at. Don't read or share it until you know what it is. If you feel yourself getting overwhelmed, stop and take a second to remind yourself of what your goal is. I, investigate the source, is the next step in the SIFT method. The key idea is that you want to know what you're reading before you read it. Knowing the exper expertise and agenda of the source is crucial to your interpretation of what they say. When it comes to research, you're only as trustworthy as your sources. And this applies to all different kinds of sources, whether that's popular sources like news media, online articles, or academic research. Sometimes we can get dazzled by fancy academic journal titles, but they're not always as trustworthy as we think, and we're only gonna know that if we take the time to investigate the source beforehand. F, find better coverage, is the next step in the SIFT process. Sometimes you don't care about the particular article that reaches you. You care about whether the claim the article is making is true or false. Look for other trusted reporting on analysis of the claim. Find better coverage that better suits your needs, whether that's more trusted, more in-depth, or maybe just varied. It's also important to note that better coverage looks different depending on what you're looking for. An online journal about engineering would not be better coverage than something that involves video games. Trusted reporting looks different depending on what you're researching, and it's important to keep those nuances in mind as you're on your information searching process. T, trace claims, quotes, and media to the original context is the final step in the SIFT process. A lot of the things you find on the internet have been stripped of context, embellished, or just plain fabricated. Trace the claim, quote, or media back to the source so you can see it in its original context and get a sense if the version you saw was accurately presented. So now it's time to wrap up with about a 20 minute activity. Using the steps we discussed earlier, evaluate the following source. Feel free to jot down notes as you read through this piece published on the Seattle Times. What do you notice about the source? How does the website look? Can you what can you find out about the Seattle Times? Are there links to other sources where you can find better coverage? Can you trace claims, quotes, and media back to the original context? What are your thoughts on the source overall? Reflect on the process. This isn't about reading every word, everything word for word, but more about noticing and reflecting on what you're seeing and what actions you can take to verify or evaluate the source. Reflect on how the SIFT method is working for you personally. Are there other ways you go about evaluating the source that this method doesn't cover? One thing about VoiceThread is that you can't directly click on the link. So on the slide, you may be seeing the link to the article, but I've also added in a comment that you should be able to follow the link to in order to complete the activity. 
So when you're done with this activity, feel free to move on to the next slide. If you need any help, you can always refer back to the earlier slides to get a refresher on what SIFT is. SIFT is just one way we can go about evaluating sources, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you evaluate. What matters is that you are evaluating them. Remember, reach out if you need any help. We're here for you.